Good morning, Trinity family and friends. It is now time for our church announcements. Look at your neighbor and say, it's time for our church announcements. Good morning, Trinity family and friends. Our church theme for 2024 is doing a good work, 100 years of ministry. Please be aware of our notice of recording. By entering into the sanctuary, you agree to be videoed and or audio recorded and posted on the internet by our media ministry of this church. If you are unable to attend worship service in person, there are various ways to stay connected with us via our website, which is www.trinity-baptist.com, our Facebook page, Instagram, our call-in telephone conference line, and our YouTube page. Thank you for your continued prayers and support of our ministry as we work to keep everyone safe and healthy. Are you dealing with any type of hurt, hang up, or addiction? We invite you to come and participate in the Breaking the Yoke of Bondage Recovery Ministry, Mondays at 7 p.m. This month, we celebrate the seventh anniversary of our Breaking the Yoke of Bondage Recovery Ministry under the leadership of Sister Latanya Watson and Brother Richard Dean. Stay connected with us. Trinity's new texting app. If you have not done so already, make sure you pick up and complete an informational card located in the rear of the sanctuary and get ready to receive updates about ministry and other events in the life of the church. Mom, to everyone, make sure you stay tuned for the announcements regarding our celebration of Black History Month. You are invited to dress in your African attire on Sunday, February 25th for our 10 a.m. worship service. Let's listen to our very own Dr. Harold Yarborough as he shares some Black History insight. You know of the Tuskegee Airmen, that fleet of black American pilots that made a name for themselves in World War II with a historical combat record. Did you know there was another group of African American men that fought in that same war and made a name for themselves in the annals of history? General George Patton was in France in 1944 and his ground forces were depleting rapidly. He needed more help on the ground with the tank brigade and the 761st tank battalion was called on. General Ben Lear, commander of the U.S. 2nd Army, rated the unit superior after a special review and deemed the unit, quote, combat ready. After the two-year training session in Texas, the 761st Tank Battalion received the order on June 9, 1944 for overseas movement three days after the D-Day landings in Normandy. Patton had his doubts because of their skin color, but gave them a pep talk saying, They say it is patriotic to die for your country. Well, let's see how many patriots we can make out of those Germans. They became known as the Black Panthers for the insignia they used. These soldiers were fighting for what they called a double V war, a victory over the enemy and hopefully a victory over the racism and discrimination in fighting for their country would lead to equality back home. The 761st was deactivated June 1, 1946 in Germany. In the process though, they were awarded a Presidential Unit Citation, a Medal of Honor, 11 Silver Stars, 69 Bronze Stars, and over 300 Purple Hearts. They were the 761st Tank Battalion. 
As we begin our celebration of Black History Month, we must begin with Trinity's history. Trinity Baptist Church was founded in May 1924 as the Evergreen Baptist Church located on the near east side of Columbus. The name was changed to Trinity Baptist Church. Trinity has remained a stable, active church making ministry footprint locally and nationally. Our church remains committed to compelling the world to salvation and discipleship through missions and ministry that shows the love of Christ. We continue to do a good work. Trinity family and friends, this is your opportunity to participate. $100 for 100 years sacrificial offering. Everyone is encouraged to give $100 anniversary offering for our 100th church anniversary. The 2023 giving statement requests are available at the information table in the rear of the sanctuary. Please complete a request and turn it in to an usher or place it in the giving basket. We would like to give a special thank you to everyone who sold into our campaign for blankets and propane gas. Thank you for your sacrifice. You have tremendously blessed those who are in need. The transportation ministry is seeking volunteers to help drive the church van on Sundays. If you are interested, please contact the office Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. or contact Brother John Castling. Trinity family and friends, join us on February the 11th during our 10 a.m. worship experience where we pay tribute and give appreciation to our very own Reverend Thomas Tony, Minister of Congregation Care and Building Coordinator. We say thank you, Reverend Tony, for 25 plus years of ministry. Don't forget to bring a special gift of love for Reverend Tony. Save the date, February the 11th, Super Bowl Sunday Worship, where your team and organization swag. Me back to the old time way. Do you remember how we used to have church back in the day? Well, Sunday, February the 18th, we will have a Take Me Back worship service at 10 a.m. Come join us and let's go way back. Our new Disciples Full Class sessions for 2024 will be held monthly beginning on Saturday, February the 17th. Save the date for our men's fellowship here at Trinity on Saturday, March the 10th from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Trinity will be hosting a revival during the simultaneous revival on Wednesday, March 20th at 7 p.m. Our special guest speaker will be Dr. Howard John Wesley of Alfred Street Baptist Church, Alexandria, Virginia. It's that time again for the 72nd Simultaneous Revival. They are bringing back the choir under the leadership of our very own Brother Brian Costin. The Revival Choir will begin rehearsals on February the 17th at 1 p.m. right here at Trinity Baptist Church. Come, fellowship, sing, and have a good time in the 72nd Simultaneous Revival Choir. For more information, make sure you touch base with our Minister of Music and Worship, Brother Brian Costin. I encourage everyone to tune in each Wednesday 
for our Bible study series entitled Prayer and Fasting. Each Wednesday, beginning at 12.15 p.m. and also at 7 p.m. Everyone is encouraged to bring your first seed offering for 2024. $24 supporting a good work in missions. If you are looking for a church home, there are several ways that you can unite with Trinity. Please visit our website at www.trinity-baptist.com, click on connect, and then choose how you would like to unite with us, whether in person or virtually. We look forward into welcoming you into the family of believers. Trinity family and friends continue to join us each Wednesday for our prayer call beginning at 12 noon. The call-in number is 602-609-9290. That's 602-609-9290. Trinity family and friends, please consider supporting the Vision to Build our Nehemiah Fund. Pray with us and give towards the building of our new sanctuary. Malachi 3.10 says, Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be enough room to store it. We thank you, Trinity family and friends, for your support in our ministry. We praise God that there are multiple ways that you can continue being a blessing by giving your tithes and offerings. You can give during in-person worship service each Sunday or at your convenience via our website, which is www.trinity-baptist.com. You can mail in your tithe and offering to 461 St. Clair Avenue, Columbus, Ohio, 43203 via PushPay or PayPal, or you can also call our treasurer at 614-746-0650. You can also give via Cash App. Our cash tag is dollar sign TBCOH1924. Come on, Trinity, it's about that time to get up on your feet and give God some praise. <laughs> 